today I'm going to be showing you how to do this eye, which is like an eye popping out. I don't know if you can see it, but it is 3D. It's popping out. You're going to be seeing how it looks. I know that this look already is around on like around the internet. They have like a, um, a face paint, like many people have done it. And I've always really loved this kind of like someone ripped out my eye. But you know what? The thing was like, I was like, okay, you know... I'm not too crazy about face paint and everyone that follows my channel regularly does know I'm not crazy about face paint. It was a cool look and I really wanted to recreate it but I wanted to take it to a next level and make it 3D. So hopefully you guys do like this and if you do don't forget to like, subscribe and now let's begin with the tutorial and all the details are going to be on my website smashingvideo.com. The link is going to be below the video. You can open the info box and find the details. Let's go! Everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to do a 3D my eye popped out makeup tutorial. I'm going to be taking spear gum and I'm going to be applying it where I want the eye. I want the eye to be somewhere around here. Take your finger and dab it like that until it becomes tacky. Ball, cotton ball. I made a smaller version of the cotton ball. Whoop. There we go. This is where my eye is going to be. Now I'm going to be taking my liquid latex and I'm going to be applying a little bit over the cotton ball. And I'm going to be applying just a little bit around the cotton ball. And then in advance I already ripped up um, a few of my tissues. Make sure that the edges are not straight. You want it to be extremely uneven. Apply it over like that and then just push it down and out to lose the ball shape and I'm going to apply a little bit more liquid latex like that. Okay and now what you're going to do is you apply another layer of liquid latex, another layer of tissue if necessary and build it up until you want the thickness that you want and then you're going to stop and let it dry and make sure to apply a thin layer of setting powder over that when you are happy with the amount that you have and it kind of is almost done so that the liquid latex has something to um, adhere to. All right, while this is drying, I'm going to be um, drawing this right here as if my eye socket has been ripped out. You don't want to draw the entire socket, but we're going to be drawing a fake socket. We're just going to be blacking this there. It does not have to be a neat line. When you close it, you know, you're going to be looking at people are going to be like, it looks like, you know, your socket's missing. All right, so I made a little mistake. I applied foundation on the center of the cotton ball. Do not do that. Just apply the foundation shade around the cotton ball just to blend in the other latex, like that. Don't worry, it doesn't have to be neat because we're gonna be doing something else around there later on. Just make sure that this is white, as white as possible. Now I'm going to be taking my Sigma Beauty eyeshadows and I'm going to be taking this right here, this shade right here, which is Mocha. And I'm going to be applying it right on the lower part right there. Just gonna apply it right below, like that. We are shadowing the already 3D um, eye, but I want to give it a more shadow. So I'm just going to shadow right below, like that. There you go, so it looks even more protruding. And I'm going to be taking um, Corrupt from Makeup Geek. It's a black eyeshadow with the same pencil brush. I'm going to be picking it up and just applying it right there. Not the entire way, just as like close under as possible just so there's like a gradient of color there we go all right now i'm going to be taking uh, my rcma white um, cream foundation and i'm going to be applying it on this entire part right there that's why i said don't apply foundation to it because it's going to be harder to paint it later in a true white And there you go, that's what it looks like so far. All right, when I'm done with that, I'm going to be picking up my Ben Nye um, Red Cream Foundation. I'm going to be using two brushes, a really thin face paint brush, 
Uh, it's called, actually it's a crafts brush, number one. And I'm going to be using my small eyeliner brush in E10 from Sigma. And because you need really thin um, brushes here. And then what you're gonna do is you're going to be drawing like nerves, like red lines, like their blood vessels and so on. You can start slowly, like making a little rim right here, around. Make sure you fill in all the nicks and crannies. Before I continue, I want to do the center of the eye. We're going to finish the red later. And I'm going to be making this a blue eye just because it's going to look best. And I'm going to be using my blue Benai cream foundation, putting on the back of my hand. So on the back of my hand, I already have three colors. And we're going to be um, using a little bit of the black for shading and a little bit of the white, which is already on the black of my hand. You want to make the eye look as realistic as possible. Now, since this does require some creative skills, it's very important that you do have some very thin brushes. The Sigma E10 e is ideal, and there are thinner, I think, brushes, um, like eyeliner brushes that you can use. You can also use craft brushes. And then since we already played the white cream foundation, this is going to be making a natural gradient of blue, what's great. The last thing is you just want it to be one color. And now I'm going to take a smaller brush, which is my Sigma E11, but it's a little bit thicker, but smaller and shorter. And I'm going to be drawing the black in the eye. So that is the eye. Do it the best way you can. And the last thing is left. Um, actually, we need to do a little bit shadowing on the white. It's a little bit too white. Okay. I'm going to be taking a little bit of the yellow and I'm going to be mixing it with white and a little bit of red just so I get something very similar to a skin tone color. And I'm just going to shadow right there a little bit just so it gets a little bit more like a 3D effect. And we're going to be using um, that same brush which we used. It's a little bit long. And we're going to be drawing the blood vessels. So... So I'm going to be using E10 right now and just trying to... And now we're going to be taking a little bit of black and mixing it with the red because we don't want like a pure black. And we're going to get like um, a purplish brown hue and we're going to be again shadowing a little bit. To complete this look fully, if you want it to be a little bit like more than this, you can take um, fake blood and you can take the thick fake blood. Um, just I really love when it goes like really 3D. And as you can see, this fake blood is really like thick and sticky. You need to be using this brush right here. It's one of my um, face paint brushes. And I'm gonna be applying these blood cloths on certain areas. want it to look chunky just because you know just 
your eye just got pulled out. And now for the last touch is the blood. Applying a very like liquidy blood, but not too much because then it's just going to run. And I'm gonna be applying it close around here because you do want this to look 3D. You also want a little bit of that blood to continue down so it looks like you were bleeding us these areas. And there you go. That's it. Oh, it's 3D. It's really cool. I'm telling you, your friends are going to go crazy for this when they see it. It's probably going to be the coolest thing for this Halloween. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share this video, and make sure to check out my website, smashingbeauty.com, for all the details on what I used. And I will see you very soon. Don't forget to check out my channel uh, Tuesdays, Fridays, and Sundays, all the way up until Halloween. Then after that, we go back to two times a week. Bye, guys.